so now the next topic that we have is golden gate initial load so what exactly is initial load if you remember earlier i mentioned this one when you try to replicate for a new environment like uh, the tables replication that we have done earlier if you notice clearly we set up the replication even before there was any data into the source right we set up the replication when there was nothing or no rows in the source so we set up the replication and then we were trying to insert update or delete rows into the source which was eventually happening onto the target as well so this is known as change sync okay we'll we'll talk about that change sync in the next slide we have it so when you set up the replication it is i mean there is a different word to it it is known as change sync i think this is the slide yeah so we have two very important terms that you should know uh, the first one is change synchronization and the second one is initial load remember guys going forward i'll be using this word change sync a lot of times and also the initial load so when you set up replication it is just known as chain sync whatever replication you have done earlier in your practice lab or whatever replication we have seen in our sessions it is nothing but chain sync so what is chain sync it is nothing but configuring normal extract and replica to capture and apply changes from source to target and this is also called as configure replication so if i say that configure chain sync or if i say that configure replication it is one and the same when you configure a normal extract process and when you configure a normal replicat process which captures the changes from source and apply the changes onto the target is known as change sync or change synchronization or also known as configure replication so this is one term when you read through a lot of uh, articles online you will see this term known as change sync so they will say like um, let us configure change sync for our databases nothing but configure replication the second very important term is initial load what if you want to configure a replication where there is existing data into a table the earlier replication that we have seen our source was blank so we configured a change sync or we configured the replication and once the replication was configured that's when we started inserting the data onto the source and the same inserts we were able to see onto the target perfect but what if my source is having already millions of rows or xyz number of rows in that case golden gate helps you to perform initial load that means first you get the data whatever it is on the source and put it onto the target later on you configure the chain sync so let us look at this one before we get back to the slide so understand guys i'll take an example of scott.emp okay this is source table and we all know that by default emp table will have how many 14 rows correct we have 14 rows on to the source and we have a target table which is just blank there are no rows in this target table okay this is just the header where we have column names and everything is blank so zero rows this is our target scott.emp just an example now when my source and target is not same 14 is not equal to zero correct the source record count is not equal to target record count i cannot set up replication i cannot set up change sync this is change sync so we cannot set up change sync in this case why because i'll i'll give you a simple example let us assume we even configure the change sync we we try to configure the change sync okay after we configure the change sync i want to update the record on the source okay update update emp and then i want to set salary equal to 20k where emp number is equal to 1234 
So when I commit this transaction, what will happen? This SQL will go onto the target. Onto the target, we have zero rows. That means this record does not exist onto the target. That means our application will fail. It's, it's pretty obvious, right? So we cannot execute transaction on a table where there are no rows. So this is where what we call as initial load comes into picture. So Golden Gate helps you with initial load. So what exactly is initial load? That means first you bring the source and target table exactly in sync. Okay, so I will get these 14 rows from the source onto the target. Okay, and then I will initiate the chain sync. So 14 is equal to 14. Once I get all the rows from source to target, I will then happily initiate the chain sync. That means if I issue any insert, update, delete transaction onto the source, the same will be replicated onto the target. Right, so this is how things work in Golden Gate. Now, you might have further questions like how to perform the initial load. Can we use a database native utilities like we have in Oracle? We have SQL loader, we have export import. Yes, you can use a lot of them, but that is not the topic right now. First of all, we are dealing with two important terms in Golden Gate. First one is chain sync. Change sync is nothing but configuring your normal extract and replicate and then initial load. Using Golden Gate, you, you can actually use Golden Gate for loading existing data from source to target before configuring the change sync. And it can be performed using native database utilities, but this you can use only when your source and target are same. See, if I'm using Oracle as the source, Oracle as the target, then, then definitely I can use the native database utilities to perform the initial load. I can, I can just use export import or I can use uh, create table as over database links or I can duplicate the database and then perform the chain sync. Uh, there are a lot of utilities, right? So you can use database native utilities only when your source and target are same. But what if my source is Oracle and target is DB2? What if my source is uh, Teradata and target is SQL Server? Now in that case, uh, we don't have native utilities which will help me to perform the initial load. Now in that case, the Golden Gate initial load is something that you have to use in order to get the tables in sync right so initial load can be performed using database utilities when source and target are same or when source and target are not same then you have to use golden gate initial load perfect but this does not mean that you cannot use golden gate initial load when both source and target are also same you can use it like in our case we in our practical activity we will be looking at Golden Gate initial load or we'll actually use Golden Gate initial load to perform the Oracle to Oracle initial load. Great. So two terms. Remember these two terms. Very important. 